but let's talk about my ring. So a lot has happened since you last saw me on season three in The Real Housewives. I want to share with you the amazing news that I'm recently engaged to Tanya Pola and we're very much looking forward to getting married towards the beginning of next year because our plans were pretty much put on hold now with the very unfortunate situation that we're living in the world right now. There's more important things to focus on now and to worry about. So we decided that we would probably get married in the beginning of the year. I wanted to be a religious wedding because I never was able to marry in the past religiously. And for me, that's very important. We're still you know, trying to figure out if we want it here, we want a destination wedding. So those are things that we're still working out. But meanwhile, we're really enjoying each other. He's an amazing man and I'm very happy. But let's talk about my ring. How beautiful is my ring? And how beautiful and hot is my fiance? I know that I've met my match and I feel that he's met his match in me and I really can't imagine living my life without him. They're all grown up and since the last time you saw me on the show, um, Peter moved to Paris. He decided and we decided that it would be the best for him to move abroad and to study. And that was the best thing, the best decision that he's ever made. He studied business and the Paris School of Business and there he met a beautiful German girl by the name of Elisa. He left Paris and came back home to Miami in 2017 and he took his real estate exam and he's doing commercial real estate. At the same time, Frankie, you know, continued to, to recover and get better and he graduated from high school with a special diploma. Um, but I was very proud of him. He's, he's had so much growth. He's such a blessing in our lives. Um, he's, he's, he, has a, he has a purpose. Like You guys didn't really see what I went through in season two because I wasn't ready to share that and it just happened that way. I know he's a miracle. I know that miracles exist because I saw him in Frankie and we see it every day. He's like our little angel, you know. He's, he loves his life and, um, and we're so fortunate to have him. You know, at a time like this, it's really made me think a lot about me, think about the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers that not only do this today because of the pandemic, but they do this every day of their lives. Like I saw it with my very own eyes. A lot has happened, a lot has changed since we last filmed for Housewives of Miami. We have two gorgeous children, Logan, who is four years old, and Elle, who is seven months. We finally moved into our home. We've been here for four years. It's a dream come true. And we opened up a health and wellness spa, Hochstein Med Spa, which I help run. Update on my life is I travel a lot. I'm still doing some art dealing. But recently I started pursuing a master's degree in psychology because we all can use a little help when it comes to our emotions. I still keep in touch with Alexia, Lisa and Marisol. Everybody says, Leah Black from Miami Housewives. Who from the Housewives are you still in touch with? Well, Christy Rice came into her office not too long ago. Uh, I haven't texted with Larsa in quite a while. I haven't texted with Lisa in a while. I used to text with her, but now she's got the babies and now she knows what it's like to live in the real world. <laughs> Responsibility. And of course, I always stayed in touch with Joanna. And uh, that's probably it. Did I? Oh, Karen, you know, from time to time, I, I stay in touch with Karen. So I guess that's pretty much it. You know, the good girls. Well, what do fans come up to say to me the most? And what is my most iconic line in memory? Well, they always come up and say, you look so much better in person than you did on television. I'm like, well, of course, the lining people just never lied to me. <laughs> and then, of course, they say, you're my favorite. Of course, they say that to everybody, but I pretend that I go along with it because I should have been. And then my favorite line that no one will ever get over, it was so much talked about, I put it on a pillow. I can deal with a lot of things, but I can't deal with stupid. I can deal with a lot, but I can't deal with stupid. We sold a lot of these pillows, by the way. Everybody says, Leah Black from Miami, what have you been doing since the Housewives? I'm like, well, I've never stopped. I still do my skincare line that I've been doing since my early 20s. 
<laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> it's leahblack.com. I have a new CBD product line that's just really off the charts. And I finished my book, Red Carpets and White Lies. And that's a really trashy good read for somebody that likes that Jack. Well, page six said I was the next Jackie Collins. How much better than that can you get? And then I have my Lunch with Leah podcast that we do live on Wednesdays on Facebook Live. And I've got almost 400 episodes. You can go to any podcast listening place in here. Well, lately, I've been quarantining. They said wear a mask. So I pulled out my mask. They said wear a facial covering. So I made myself one with pearls. But you know, I also take it seriously, wear the gloves and the whole thing, and I hope you're doing the same thing. Do it for yourself and do it for everybody else. And then at home, nothing's changed. I got RJ into college. I'm a cook in the kitchen, a maid in the house, and I'm in the bedroom. <laughs>